Hi everyone, as much as I want to start using my own voice on this channel more often, I'm having some trouble with laptop storage and the iMovie microphone makes it overheat, so please excuse me as I have to use a text-to-speech voice again for now. Anyway, in case you couldn't tell from a few of my videos these past few years, I'm kinda obsessed with Vocaloids. Roughly half of the songs I listen to on a regular basis have some kind of voice synthesizer in them, and my favorite is the queen herself. The twin pigtail diva from a near future where music has been lost, without her, Vocaloid wouldn't be anywhere close to what it is today, especially when it comes to Good Smile Company, a Japanese company that mostly specializes in dolls and figurines, and Nindoroid is their most iconic line of products. These posable chibi figures with interchangeable heads and sometimes even bodies are like the Chad to Funko Pops version, and you can find Nindoroids for just about any anime or video game series. Hatsune is easily a favorite in the Nindoroid world though, so she has a ton of different Nindoroids based on her brand deals and events, so I thought it'd be fun to rank all of them from worst to best for the sake of making more Vocaloid content. Just please keep in mind that one, I'm no expert on Nindoroids. I've never had any but would like to get a few someday. I just like critiquing cute artsy stuff for fun, too. I'm not counting the Nindoroid dolls, petites, or anything from Nindoroid Plus. I've already got 76 regular Nindoroid Mikus to talk about and that's more than enough for one video. 3. And most importantly, this is all just my personal opinion so please don't take this video too seriously. Again, it's just for fun. So let's just get into the Miku madness already. Now, Miku's worst Nindoroid in my personal opinion is Racing Miku, 2013 Sepang version. Of all the ways you could have celebrated Racing Miku's 10th anniversary, this is how? A slutty 2013 Racing Miku with a tan? I don't even want to look at this one anymore so let's just move on. 75, Kigurumi Aguman version, because I just never liked Digimon. 74, Magical Mirai 2018 version, okay Miss Picasso, we get it, you like slightly asymmetrical bright colors, but aside from the fact that it's so hard to look at, what's with the little bows in her hair next to her headphones, they just feel so out of place. 73, 10th anniversary version, I had to put this one as slow because sure, the design's pretty and all, but I find the Nindoroid version to be pretty disappointing, just look at the memorial box and Project Diva models of the same design by comparison and you'll understand why, just because Nindoroids are smaller doesn't mean that's an excuse, because they absolutely can go all the way with their designs, they just chose not to with this one, they didn't even get the rainbow gradient on her shirt right. 72, Swimsuit version Family Mart color, because I too would like to dress up in my employer's colors and have to promote them while I'm on vacation, it's every middle class worker's dream. 71, Racing Queen 2009, black version, the idea to give Miku tie-in designs for Good Smile Racing originally came up in 2009, but wasn't made official until a year later, the design had a limited edition release the next year, and if this was the design they would have used, I can see why they waited because it's lame as shit. It's not that different from her original outfit, but I think it would have been somewhat fine if they left out the collar. 70. Racing Queen 2009. White version. The same thing, but the car she comes with is white. 69. Family Mart version. It's as boring as you'd expect from a corporate sellout. 68. Snow Miku. Snow Bell version. Every year, Nandoroid holds a contest for Snow Miku designs based on a particular theme, and 2015 Snow Miku is undoubtedly the worst. But as much as I hate the dress, I do like the accessories and smaller details like the pigtails and wooden microphone. There's even a sitting body with actual dress physics. A lot of effort was clearly put into this Snow Miku, but I wish it was executed a bit better. 67. Racing Miku 2021 version. Out of all the Racing Miku designs, this feels the most unoriginal. Everything from the flowing hair to the pink accents to the goggles stuck to her hair feel like they were stitched together from other Miku Nandoroids. Even her accessories other than the car are a notepad and pen for some reason. 66. Swimsuit version and Family Mart 2013 version. Now this is a properly colored swimmer Nandoroid. Even the Family Mart design looks a bit better than her first one. 
Miku Expo 2021 version. Looks like she borrowed her design from some BDS merch to be honest. This one could have been a lot better if the lower half of the dress wasn't so weird. Just saying that it could have worked fine if it was less globe shaped and more like the skirt underneath. And what the hell is this tie? Also I thought this face had lipstick but no, her mouth is just slightly open. And I don't know how to feel about that. 64, Racing Miku 2020 version. This looks like it wanted to be a new take on the 2010 Racing Miku, but it came out more awkward and pointless looking. I will admit that the details are still fairly nice though, especially the way her hair is painted. 63, Sailor Uniform version special color. No, it's a lie. Nothing about this is special. It's an ugly green plaid version of the Sailor Uniform Nindoroid that doesn't even come with half of what makes it so nice. 62, Hachune face version, ever wanted the Miku Nindoroid with just Hachune Miku faces, oh never mind, it comes with a normal Miku face too, and this to put stickers on, that's what the website claims anyway, but they don't show what those stickers look like, sus? 61, Hatsune Miku Stage Sekai version, this was made to promote Project Sekai Colorful Stage, with Miku in her more more jump idol unique form, and I've always found it kinda bland to be honest, the expressions are okay I guess, but those eyes feel way too detailed for an Nindoroid, so it also looks uncanny, but look, a clover, and if you buy this Nindoroid online, you get a four leaf clover. 60. Snow Miku. The original Snow Miku was just a recolor of the first Miku with snowflakes printed onto her hair and tie, and as nice as it looks, I mean it's literally almost the same as the first Miku Nandoroid, it even comes with an identical Hachuni Miku face and scallion. 59. Miku. Presenting the inspiration for Project Mirai, this is the original Miku Nandoroid so I can't be mean to it and it still holds up pretty well. Can't forget about the original Hachuni face and scallion either. 58. Hatsune Miku. Cheerful version, 2011 edition. It's the same Miku but with two flags, pompons, and a new face. 57. Symphony 2018 to 2019 version. There's a good chunk of Miku designs that try to keep the same vibe as Miku's boxer designs, but end up pretty forgettable for that reason. And this was made for an orchestral symphony. There's nothing fancy or grand about this except for the pigtails. I also like the prop with the notes and sparkles, but that's about it. 56. Racing Miku 2011 version returns. This Racing Miku got an Endoroid petite before getting this bigger one two years later, and it's incredibly basic. Nothing really stands out about her design unless you're really into the futuristic bimbo look, but that's Miku's whole thing anyway. This expression is cute though. 55. Racing Miku 2013 version. It's like the 2011 and 2012 Racing Mikus combined into one. And I do kinda like how sleek and chromatic this is, but it's still nothing that's special compared to most of the other racing Mikus. 54. Magical Mirai 2016 version. This is another Miku that's pretty similar to her box art color schemes, but I like the bows and love the wires wrapped around her headphones, especially how the pink ones flow with her hair. 53. Miku Tayo. So did you know that in 2011, there was a Miku costume based on her Nandoroid figure that repeated the phrase Miku Tayo to promote Project Mirai, but it was so clumsy and big that it scared kids and even made some cry? Well, she became such a meme that she kept coming back for more promotional content like commercials and of course, merchandise. So of course she had to return to her roots and get an Endoroid of her own. And isn't she just glorious? This pop candy she comes with looks like a paddle though, and I think she'd rather slap someone with it than put it in her mouth. 52. Snow Miku, Snow Playtime Edition. This is what Snow Miku should have been from the start. It's largely the same, but with richer colors and extra gear to make it better suited for cold weather. Even the expressions are way more unique. There's also a Hachuni Snowman and an ice tray, which looks like this, but the official Nindoroid website uses its 3D model for some reason. 51. Snow Miku, Strawberry White Kimono Version. If I were to rank the Snow Miku designs based on how well they'd keep a person warm, this would be pretty high up there. It's a snug, pretty kimono that comes with a detachable hood, two different hairstyles, and bodies for sitting and standing. I personally prefer the hair in a bun, not just because it helps her stand out more from the other Snow Mikus, but also because of the flowing curly strands. It's just a shame that this design was bastardized in the Project Diva games, 
50. Hat Miku. Cheerful version. It's a remake of the charity Cheerful Nindoroid but instead of reusing her first Nindoroid's expressions, it adds some new ones. Other than that, they're the same but as Miku feels more dynamic than her other default looks. 49. Shuken Hajime no Miku. The design for this Nindoroid is taken from a four panel manga strip series of the same name, so the design, expressions, and headed items are all references from those. I haven't read any of them and when I look the series up, I mostly just get this Nindoroid, but I still think these are kinda funny, especially the Amazon box. 38. Yukata version at Satsukabi. It's Miku in a red Yukata, for reasons, but this is one of her hairband's most interesting designs to me, and this face keeps me from putting her any lower. 47. Racing Miku 2018 version. Here we have another royalty based Racing Miku, but I'm not sure if this design knows what it wants to be. It has a decent color scheme but way too much fluff. And what's this thing in her hair? And these, I think this one could have looked way better too. 46. 10th anniversary version. It's Miku Tayo with a shinier, polished look, a kneeling buddy, and some items from her various adventures. Most notably her favorite food, tuna sushi. And as funny as this sushi is because it's so fake, the sushi connoisseur in me has to keep it lower than the other two Miku Tayo Nindoroids left to cover. 35, you caught a version. This picture was my SoundCloud profile picture for a really long time. Just saying, I think it's a really cute design that proves how if you put a Vocaloid in a Yukata, they look best in analogous color schemes. 44, Snow Now this is a piece of sushi, and some other food, honestly. Since Miku Tayo was meant to be a bulky costume, I think the original Snow Miku coloring works perfectly on her. 43, Sakura the best April Fool's gift the Vocaloid world's given us since Tato. I think Miku Tayo looks kinda cute with the Sakura design, and I wanna eat the tuna sushi which is probably more of a bad thing than a good thing but it's fine. I'm fine. I'm not getting hungrier the more I look at it as I'm typing this script. 42. Hatsune Miku V4X. She's got something the other default Miku stoned, glasses, and a shiny blue guitar. Her expressions are all pretty cute too, but the ends of her hair kinda look like claws looking to grab something and it kinda creeps me out. 41. Hatsune Miku. Yes, for real. This one is also just her name, because Miku's a character in the animation Kansen Henka Irobo Shinkalian. She's just there, and kind of a stoic asshole, but she looks quite alright in all this purple. 40. Snow Miku, Crane Priestess version. This sort of feels like an edgy upgrade of 2013 Snow Miku. It's got a nice amount of soft colors, and I like how the Kagura Bell has actual strings attached to it, not to mention the base with an attachable Tori to create an extra cool temple look. 39. Racing Miku 2012 version. I like how this Miku's like an upgraded version of the last one, just mostly in white and topped off with a tiara. She's a digital princess and she's gonna step on you with those boots. 38. Racing Miku 2010 version returns. The first official Racing Miku Nandoroid was part of a pack with a Racing Rin and Racing Luka, but Miku was the only one who got a fully sized Nandoroid three years later because fuck them, am I right? Point is, I think it's neat how at first, Racing Miku's design was everything it was designed to be, a fun, playful representation of the company behind this branding, and her to any racing crew, and you've got yourself a winner. 37. T. Now that Miku is no longer a Vocaloid and moved over to the Piapro engine, she has a brand new design to symbolize the big change. So T has a rounder, puffier design with a natural flow and blushy faces. She even comes with her own little copy of the voice bank. Damn she's desperate. 36. Snow Miku, Snow Parade version. As cute as this Miku is, there were some runner-ups in the 2020 contest that I think deserved to win more, but sometimes the basic bitches win anyway, such is life. But my favorite part of this design that the others didn't have is the sheet music back bow. I love how the ends are all jagged and folded. 35. Sailor Uniform version. Finally, it's the Sailor Uniform Nindoroid in the only way it was meant to be. Exactly the same as the ugly one from before except it comes with a piano and two display kits. 34. Sakura Miku. Yes, it's another blatant V2 design recolor, but everything's prettier in pink, 
It comes with some really nice extras too, like this cherry blossom stand and stacked pillows. You can even swap her headphones for a chain of flowers and her hairbands for giant cherries. So I can't help it if she's absolutely adorable. 33. Snowmiku 2.0 It's a remake of the 2011 Snowmiku with new expressions, a keyboard, and Rabbit Chukin with a nice bow scarf compo. And I think it would have been a crime to not mention Rabbit Chukin at least once in this video. But the best part is definitely the included closet with all the other Snowmiku costumes at the time, which I think is so cute. 32. Magical Mirai 2017 version. It's one of the more simplistic Magical Mirai designs, but I actually like it for that reason. Kinda proves that Miku's color scheme doesn't need to change that much for good designs. Sometimes it's the clothes themselves. I also adore the pink ends of her hair and the wings in her hair ties and microphone. 31. Racing Miku 2019 version. Hey it's another pink and white design that I actually like. I just think the colors work pretty well for the idle uniform style, and the added golden charms and flowing ribbons help make it more original as well. 30. Maniki Miku. And they mean Maniki is in those cats with the coins and mechanical paws meant to bring good luck. It's that but with Miku. She looks really bright and colorful, and even comes with a golden scallion. It's very cute, but feels like a bit too much. Like the details on the dress work best for the design this is based on. 29. Magical Mirai 5th Anniversary Version The first Magical Mirai in Doroid really took advantage of the magical part of the title, and I think she looks absolutely adorable. Every little detail in the figure itself and everything she comes with from the rainbow effect to the background feels like she's learning how to be a magician and if I can't have her, at least give me that little star chain on her hat, please. 28. Magical Mirai 2020 Summer Festival Version It's like they combined everything nice about the Magical Mirai designs before her and put them together for such summer festival. The design and expressions all have so much swagger put into them, like she's having the time of her life eating cotton candy and winning a goldfish. 27. Hatsune Miku V4 Chinese Miku's no stranger to appreciating Chinese culture, so she got a new design for when she became the first Japanese Vocaloid to get a Chinese voice bank. And instead of a scallion, she gets a paintbrush along with Ahoj extensions. She's so pretty and so silly. 26. Racing Miku 2022 version. This Racing Miku looks the most suited for race car driving, even if she's not as detailed or extravagant, but sometimes less is more, and I bet she just wants to shut up and drive. 25. Magical Mirai 2019 version. The aim with Magical Mirai in 2019 was to give it a futuristic circus look, and Miku makes a fitting ringleader for the concept. I especially love the baton microphone, differently designed shoes, and cute little top hat. 24. Snow Miku, Twinkle Snow version. It might not be the most unique Snow Miku design, but still has some interesting charms of its own and some really cute accessories, most notably the swirling sheet music and constellations around her. There's a plush star and some cloud seats for both Miku and Rabbit Chukin too. Twenty three Racing Miku 2016 version Racing Miku returns to her good smile racing colored roots with a fiery take on a racing suit. It's heavily based on a phoenix with rainbow colors, and racing's are all about burning rubber, so I really love this approach. 22. Snow Miku, Magical Snow Version. I'm a sucker for anything Magical Girl related but I think this outfit's a little awkward honestly, but you know what makes up for it, literally everything else. The expressions, the staff and its effects, the base that makes her look like an RPG character casting a spell, the giant book stand, it's all so beautiful. This was also the first Snow Miku to introduce Rabbit Chukin, and I look forward to seeing new designs for her every year too. 21. Snow Miku, Fluffy Coat Version 2012 was the first year where Snow Mikus were designed and picked through contests, and the first winner didn't stray too far from the first two, but I see that as a good thing because it takes their best elements and does them better in every single way, even the expressions are way more unique, plus she comes with a shovel, an iced sculpture, and her stage has LED lights. 20. Sakura Miku, Bloomed in Japan Good Smile Company celebrated making their first ever Indooroid in Japan alone with a new Sakura Miku, whose only extra items are food and a flower. She doesn't have any interchangeable hair pieces either, but her overall look has a bit of a softer, pure glow to it, 
and her pigtails have alternate braids with giant cherries, so that Alona already gives it an advantage over the first Sakura Miku. 19. Senban's Akira version Lots of Vocaloid songs get made into good smile figures, but Senban's Akira was the only one lucky enough to get an Endoroid too. It's even colored like it came right from its original video, and you can't have this Miku without her streamer and bike to finish off the iconic look. Also Haito got an Endoroid based on his appearance in the song's PV2, just look at how cute and epic they are together. 18. Hatsune Miku 2.0, a remake of the original Miku Nindoroid that improves it in every single way with better colors, more expressions, an extra body, and even instruments with speakers. Everything about her is a beautiful demonstration of how far Nindoroid came in just a few years. 17. Hatsune Miku if version, can you imagine if Miku's original design looked like this instead of her iconic uniform with the pigtails? Because this design is taken from Miku's concept art, and there's so much personality put into her, these expressions are aggressive, like her mission to rediscover music is too important for her to be interrupted, and I think that's really cool. 16. Halloween version, I can't get enough of how badass she looks. You've got the fangs, the wings, vicious orange eye shadow, a pumpkin head, and a candy cane for some reason. Now here's that pumpkin head on an Endoroid Petit Rin. 15. Racing Miku 2014 version. This Miku has such a breezy, energetic look to her, and those look like transforming tires on her hips. So it makes sense why she doesn't come with a car. She is the car this time bitch. 14. Santa version. Sometimes simplicity can make a design all the more appealing, and that's especially true with Santa Miku. It's another one that stays true to a lot of her box art designs, but I find it way cuter in all this red and white with a little star connecting the collar and tie, especially in the little chimney. 13. Core and Kimono version. If you need proof that Nindoroids can be fancy while staying simplistic, this Miku's right here. She was made to appreciate Japanese culture, so it's like combining the best of the past and present. Just look at those kimono designs because I am so in love with them. 12. Racing Miku 2015 version. She's beauty, she's grace. She'll stab you in the face with an umbrella sword. She's the kind of princess who saves herself, especially with this badass shield and crown. Also appreciate the back of her skirt. It needs to be recognized as much as the rest of this awesome design. Eleven, Snow Miku, Snow Princess version. It's like a nicer version of the Twinkle Snow Miku, and she's absolutely worthy of the princess title. Combined with the hairbrush and mirror, it really looks like she's gonna break into a song and become the next Disney princess. I especially love that cape, and wish her crown was a matching color. Ten, Miku with You 2019 version. More Chinese appreciation with Miku's design from Miku with You, and she's a beautiful ballerina who's gonna kick your ass in those slippers. Every inch of her flowery amazingness wins me over every single time, and apparently wins this little panda over as much too. My only complaint is the back bow because it blends in too much with her hair. I think it would have looked better in pink to match her shoes and most of the roses. 9. Snow Miku, Grand Voyage version, the latest addition to the Snow Miku lineup, and definitely one of the most unique. It's like she's a sailor daring to venture into the unknown during the winter instead of the summer, and the red white and navy blue color scheme works perfectly. The expressions and sunglasses are pretty great too, but my favorite part is her hair. The way the snowflakes and bubbles look like they're drifting down her pigtails that are shaped like crashing foaming waves at the bottom is absolutely gorgeous. So how do you expect me to not love her? It's like she's got the most personality and best sense of humor out of all the snow mikus. 8. Snow Miku, Glowing Snow Version She's undoubtedly the most beautiful Snow Miku, and I could go on forever about how much I love her. There's the dress and coat, beads wrapped across her hair, the hat that's also a clock, the back bow that's also a pair of wings, and even her eyes have little snowflakes in the center. She's definitely one of the most elegant Miku Nandoroids, and reminds me so much of old-fashioned Christmas scenery. Makes me wish I could see her on display in a department store window in Manhattan. 7. Racing Miku 2017 version. Easily my favorite Racing Miku because I can't ever say no to a good fairy design, but good is the understatement of the century because are you looking at her right now she's so adorable and those colors are absolutely perfect and I want to cosplay as this right now. There was even a Racing Luka made to go with her, it's just a shame she never got any figures of her own. 
six. Hatsune Miku. Append. Everything about Miku Append is so beautiful to me, and her Nandoroid is no exception. Mostly the hair though, it's so light and creamy. Plus her stand can turn into this so you can recreate the Miku Append box art. This will always be one of the prettiest Nandoroids because unless you copy and paste the design onto other Tita models in MMD, Miku Append always stands out as a work of art. 5. Absolute HMO Edition What it lacks in fancy details or accessories, it more than makes up for in uniqueness and personality. Yellow Magic Orchestra's Mika got her own Nandoroid and I absolutely love the oversized sleeves and messy hair, especially when paired with the broken headphones and their wires poking out. This is the only Miku to come with a drum set too, so it gets even more points for originality. Now have her next to a Rin and Len that probably aren't for sale. 4. Lion Dance Version Another more simplistic yet unbelievably cute Nandoroid that I absolutely had to keep in the top 5. She stands out from the stiff competition that is Miku's Chinese Nandoroids with her liveliest pigtails design and a super cute Chinese lion costume. It comes with an equally adorable lion puppet too, and together, they're so cute it almost makes me cry. 3. Snow Miku Snow Owl version. It's not the grandest or fanciest Snow Miku, but it'll always be my favorite because it best captures what Snow Mikus are all about. The spirited fun of winter in Hokkaido, and what says fun in the snow more than skiing and snowboarding. You can even attach flying snowballs to the base, but I should get the obvious out of the way. Yes, this is definitely the Snow Miku best suited for wintry weather, which was also a big factor into putting it higher than the others. But my favorite thing about this Nandoroid is without a doubt the owl hat. It's hand sewn with wooden buttons and I think it's one of the cutest things to ever happen to an Nandoroid. Gives it an extra sense of authenticity. Two, Symphony 5th Anniversary Version Sometimes in life people create the best things with seemingly so little, and this Miku's more than worthy of a symphony. Honestly, I think it's the symphony that's worthy for her. And here we have Miku as a music box doll. Not even kidding. She comes on a record player music box stand and you can do this on her Nandoroid website page. This design absolutely kills me like she can be so dramatic one moment and then so cute the next, and it's all in the face. She's enough proof that Miku is an absolute legend and I fucking dare you to tell me this is a bad Nindoroid. Go ahead, see what happens. The only reason why she isn't number one is because she's actually underwhelming in comparison to the full-scale Miku Symphony 5th Anniversary figure. Just look at her hair and the way the dress separates and the actual music box that comes with the music box. She's absolutely perfect. So I couldn't put her Nandoroid self at number one, meaning there's only one Nandoroid left to take that spot, and it's none other than. Harvest Moon Version she takes so much of what I love about Nandoroids and puts them into one pastel goddess. They're soft, gentle colors, fitting items, and expressions that aren't too different from one another but still make me wanna hug her. There's also this circular background to make it even more beautiful, and even a Rin and Len to go with her. And the best part, it's basically just a tinier version of this Harvest Moon figure, so the beauty transfers perfectly to any good smile figure no matter the size, which makes it all the better. It really is amazing how many emotions I can feel from a Miku Nandoroid, and it makes me love these little things even more, and also desperately want one. Okay now that I'm finally done with these, I can get back to your regularly scheduled Unikitty content. I've been working on the script for the remake of my cringy ranking videos, so hopefully I can finish it up soon. But bye for now, thanks as always for watching.